It happens. Um, I do find an absolute shit ton of fantasy books here. And uh, look at this. I'm just going crazy with these fantasy books. Thank you very much. 50 cents each? No worries. <laughs> It's a public holiday today. <laughs> Just kidding, I took a sickie. And it's cold still, it's so cold. Down south again, uh, but this time I'm going only an hour away from home. Uh, I'm just gonna hit up the good semis today. Uh, the good semis down here, down south, and uh, I've got 50% off. So you know how when you get your little, uh, every time you make a $10 purchase, you get a stamp on your card, um, up to the 10th stamp, so I've got 50% off. So we're gonna go hit this one today and see uh, what type of haul we can grab. Seems this is winter, we'll try and focus on a lot of jumpers and all that, but um, I really do want to try and find some retro toys. So let's see what we can find. Join me, let's go right along. Let's do it! And here we go, down to Mandra, my hometown where I grew up, down to Mandra. This used to be a video store. This used to be actually a blockbuster video I worked in, so... Let's have a little look around. As you see, a absolute rip-off price there for a uh, dollhouse handmade. But uh, let's have a look through the shirts, as we always do. It is always slim pickings when we look through these shirts. And uh, as you see, not too much, not too much at all. I like it how they uh, they do uh, section them off in the, the old colors, which uh, makes it easier for you, because they always go straight to the black ones, usually. But uh, didn't today. The black ones were at the end. But um, there's a uh, NAB women's training uh, rising star. If it was a men's one, I would have grabbed it because the men's one would have been worth heaps if it was a good rookie that got drafted. Um, this is a uh, weird baseball, basketball. Um, it's like an 80s, the Sonics, but it wasn't an NBA one, unfortunately. I did grab it. I did grab it because I was very, um, very curious on what we could get for this uh doesn't look like a um big profit one but we'll chuck it in the basket anyway chuck it on in the basket and keep on looking through and uh there's a warmbra that's just a local team that one no good this was weird um uh, didn't get it but uh looked looked pretty good we uh, travel through the DVDs, I always have a look through the DVDs and see if I can find some uh, hidden gems in there. Unfortunately, um, wasn't uh, that many in its day. Only a buck each, but uh, why not? But with 50% uh, off at 50 cents, why the fuck not? But there was uh, some VHS up the top there for 50 cents each, which was good. Um, some of these no-name uh, VHS tapes you always grab because they're not on Netflix, they're not on Stan, they're not on uh, any of your platforms where you watch your movies. So uh, the only way you're going to watch these movies is on VHS, unfortunately. But um, definitely always uh, think about it. 10, 50 cents into $10 plus they pay their own post. Why the fuck wouldn't you? Why the fuck wouldn't you? And maximum risk. Who doesn't like Van Damme? There's some weird shit in there, but um, look at that fucking weird one. Australian drama. Didn't pick it up, but, you know. Raven. Good old Burt Reynolds. What a champion he was. Ripped cover. I always save all my uh, extra ripped covers and uh, for swap them over with um, spare ones that I've collected. Uh, we had a look for the books. Books weren't... wasn't a good day for books. Um, in this section, anyway, but... Uh, Always got to have a little travel through the books and see what we can find. And uh, unfortunately, no fantasy, no Dungeons and Dragons, nothing like that, uh, which is my favourite to pick up. And good old uh, Star Wars ones that I like to pick up for myself as well. Uh, the toy section was uh, just filled with absolute baby toys, but I did find these. Uh, if you know the John Deere, John Deere stuff goes pretty good. Now, I've got half price. So, um, you know, that's going to be $2 for the carriage and $1.50 for the uh, tractor. Bloody bargain. 
um, I look forward to listing those and uh, they should go pretty fast and go at a good price I think as well because John Deere stuff to buy brand new is pretty damn expensive uh, really expensive look at that wiggle doll just sitting there no one wants to own you um, this was a transformer I could not transform it I think it might have been broken I'm not sure but it would not transform so I, you know, eight dollars fifty. I would have only had to pay what four dollars twenty-five, but with my fifty percent off. But look, it didn't transform. I think it was broken, uh, so I left that one. I didn't want that. But uh, let me have a look at the glass glassware and oh, happy engagement! No, happy wedding, happy engagement. Let's donate that because we're divorced now. <laughs> I love seeing all those uh, happy engagements and happy weddings when uh, people get rid of all that shit. Um, we have a little look for the uh, kids section and I find a gold mine here, an absolute gold mine. Leave that on the floor, don't worry about that. A McHappy Day apron. That's going straight in the basket. Thank you very much. I'll pick that up. Um, but here's where we find something, a perler, an absolute perler in here. In the cabinet, there's a nice camera in there. Uh, for 60 bucks, but with my 50% off, I'm gonna grab that. Uh, Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy, um, they're not ginger, they've got brown hair in this one. I want six bucks, they can go suck a dick, I'm not paying that. They don't even have their orange hair. So, evil, evil Annabelle. That's a nice jacket, and um, but uh, no, no chance, no chance in hell. Nice bulldog on the back though, that's a custom embroidered embroidered but uh, this is the gold seal section always a little bit overpriced way overpriced i'm happy with that lot that i just got um i spent 68 dollars 68 bucks but um that's not gonna be it i feel like uh i'm on a little bit of a roll so there's another one around the corner so let's just do one more uh why not let's go there. so off to the next door never seen this shop before only just opened a uh, cottage cafe and op shop. It ended up being the absolute drizzling shits. We walked around and found nothing, but it was a nice setup. It was a nice old house. Old house turned into an op shop. I did appreciate it. I did appreciate the effort they went to, but didn't appreciate the prices. And I didn't appreciate the stock that they had on hand. Um, set up nicely, but uh, this is where you go get a little muffin and uh, drink fridge is empty because you see how busy they are all the time. And, <laughs> and the clothes, this is all the clothes they had in the karate outfit. That's all the clothes they had, unfortunately. And nothing, nothing uh, fantastic. And out we go to the Anglican op shop. The Anglican op shop, one of my favorites. Always find a bargain here. I don't, uh, you know, look through the mugs that much anymore like I used to. But, um, found this uh, set of books here. This was $10, I think, I paid for it. But this has already actually sold. I actually listed it last week. And um, since I'm a week behind uh, in my videos, and that sold for 50 bucks already. A uh, bunch of videos up the top here, which is always good for me when I get to see uh, all VHS tapes for 50 cents each. Actually, they wanted 10. You can take 10 videos for uh, $2, but uh, unfortunately, they were all dog shit. Absolutely dog shit, so that's all right. It happens. Um, I do find an absolute shit ton of fantasy books here. And uh, look at this. I'm just going crazy with these fantasy books. Thank you very much. 50 cents each? No worries. 50 cents or a dollar? Ah, who knows. Where are the Kardashians? Well, who gives a fuck where the Kardashians are, really? Uh, I've actually sold this book before for $20. Uh, it was $2. I didn't really want to deal with it. I've, even though I've sold it before, but I just couldn't bring myself to getting it. I know $2 into 20 bucks, I should have. But uh, I just didn't. I just didn't want to. I didn't want to. And uh, last for the uh, games and media is always good at this place. And I always uh, find some good jackpots in this uh, little old um, thrift store. 
not bad, not bad at all actually. Uh, so 50% off, ended up spending $68. The second store that I didn't intend to be there, the cafe and coffee shop was absolute shit. But then the next one was all right and I spent $24. Um, so 100 bucks today about, uh, a little bit more, a little bit less. That's it, let's go back to the shed. I'm gonna go do comps on everything and find out what everything's worth and what's been selling for. Um, I've just showed you everything I didn't get. Uh, let's go show you what I did get. At 50% off, 50% off. Man, 50% off is a dream when you go into a store. I grabbed a shit ton, let's have a look. So I paid uh, $4.50 for these VHS tapes, and there's nine of them there. These three David Enning books were uh, 50 cents each. Now I'm gonna see if uh, gonna see if Frankie needs these ones in his collection. So I'm not gonna put these in the kitty. So I'll see if Frankie wants those. We got three cassette tapes. They were 10 cents each. We got John Farnham, Major Reason, Eric Clapton, Tears in Heaven, and Cliff Richard one. I'm actually I could probably maybe get $10 for the John Farnham. John Farnham one and the Eric Clapton one. Don't know about Cliff Richard. I'm gonna not uh, put this in the kitty either. I'm going to lock them up with other cassettes later on down the track. But these videos here, these nine videos, I can definitely get $10 each for. Um, there's some unknown name movies on here. And, um, and that's a good thing. Thomas the Tank Engine and Barney always get me $10 every day of the week. Death Wish 3, easy 10 bucks, maybe more. But then these Burt Reynolds movies and stuff like that, and uh, The President's Man with Chuck Norris, stuff like that that's not on a uh, movie channel like Netflix and all that, they're the ones that always sell. They're the ones that, yeah, bread and butter, 10 bucks every day of the week that you pay 50 cents for, laughing. Uh, this leapfrog, this leapfrog uh, Max Disney princesses and mazes. Uh, if you've never seen these leapfrog things before, that's what they look like. Uh, I can get 10 bucks easy for this. Oh shit, no, comp say I can get 20. Comp say I can get 20. Did you have the time of your life? Because I sure did. I got this for 50 cents. This cool looking bear. Would never usually pick this up, but it says Dirty Dancing on the back. Dirty Dancing is from the uh, stage show. Uh, 50 cents into $20 every day of the week. Because, uh, shit, the time of my life. Uh, this Wee Michael Jackson game cost me a dollar. Um, I swear to God, I've seen on someone else's channel uh, pick up this and say it was worth 40, 50 bucks. Fucking liars! It's only worth $10 on comps. No one cares about Michael Jackson anymore. $1 into $10, bad buy. Fifty cents. I found this 1981 Garfield plush toy. It's in pretty good condition. Oh, except for that bit. Um, but uh, pretty good condition. On console, these ones. This one in particular, 35 bucks every day of the week. Meow, kitty. John Deere toys. Um, I'm not sure if they're old or not. Uh, I don't think they're older versions. But anyway, we still got these John Deere figures, uh, toys. John Deere stuff goes pretty damn good. So uh, I'm thinking of lotting all. I paid two dollars for these four, and I'm going to lot them up and sell these for forty dollars, and they will sell. So they will sell, and they'll pay their own postage and handling. Um, especially because of this trailer by itself goes for about 20 bucks, so uh, people will be uh, wanting that. This is a shit pickup, but sometimes you've got to uh, make some choices when you don't have comp sandy. Uh, South, Wadley, South Wadley Baseball Basketball Club, uh, it's got Sonics on the back. This is one of those cool old school 90s um, raincoatish 
jackets uh, for kids basketball or young adults or whatever. While I had half price um, and I paid $4 for it, I thought, why not? Unfortunately, I can't find, uh, South Waverley is a local hour away from me area. Uh, I was hoping that it was really gonna be uh, uh, one of their great sporting teams or whatever, but unfortunately, uh, not. So I'm probably only gonna get about 20 bucks for this once someone finds it that wants it. I'll try high, I'll try high. Paid three dollars for this. Uh, I paid three dollars for this Peel Thunder. These are my boys, uh, my local uh, waffle team. Peel Thunder uh, past players and officials uh, shirt, collared uh, shirt. Um, I think I might get a few extra bucks because it's a past players and officials uh, shirt. So um, this is waffle. Uh, I paid three dollars for this, and I should get probably twenty-five bucks for this, but that's pretty good. Finding a bit of waffle stuff lately. I paid $4 for this Claremont, uh, it's not Carlton, uh, but I paid $4 for this uh, Claremont uh, waffle, Claremont Tigers jacket. This is a really nice thick raincoat jacket. Um, could be one of those coaches ones. Um, KC Sport on the back. I paid $4 and um, I 100% will get $40 for this. I'll try for 50, but I'll definitely get 40 bucks for this if 40 goes in the kitty. Still learning about pants, but um, I had to buy these because um, I thought these were only in America. The Dockers. The do Say, so I'm a Dockers fan. The football team, the Dockers here, they use wear pairs of pants that are called the Dockers. Dockers? Didn't even know. Didn't even know about Dockers. So I got these Dockers pants, American pants, and um, I paid two dollars fifty for these, and I should get about thirty-five to forty dollars for them. Uh, but I'll chuck 35 in the kitty for these ones. First pair of Dockers pants. Let me know in the comment if you're American that are watching. They are American, aren't they? More sporting stuff. This is either a young adult or child size of Sydney Kings. Uh, I picked this one up for this was $1.50, $1.50 with the half price, and I should turn this into $30. Yeah, I had to double check that then. $30, I'll definitely uh, easily turn that into. I've sold this one, exact one before. All right, all you book snobs. Uh, Anne McAfee, Anne McAfee, if you know who the fuck that is, Anyway, I picked up all these books, 12 books, they were 50 cents each. So I paid $6.50 for all these. Had a look at comps, a lot of these sell for $15 to $20 each. Some of them are only $10 of the series that I've got here. Uh, but I'm gonna lock all these bastards together and I'm gonna put them for 100, I'm gonna put them for more than 100 and uh, I'll take 100 bucks for these. So then they're paying less than $10 each book because there's 12 of them. Very happy with that uh, purchase. Very happy that the same author was all there and I just went, thank you. Uh, more books were there, this Virginia Andrews uh, set. Uh, Virginia Andrews, um, look, I'm not gonna try and fucking lie and pretend I know, because guess what, I don't have a clue. So, these books here, uh, I paid $10 and it's looking like I can get about 40 to 50 to 60. So I'm just gonna fucking go mid range and I'm gonna go uh, $50 in the kitty for this one. But um, I thought that was a good buy for 10 bucks. Why not? All the books and set. And, and when I took them up, the lady goes, That's a little bit too cheap. Well, guess what? I'm, that makes me wanna take it even more. Uh, this was one of my half price items. This was meant to be $30 and I grabbed it because I got it for $15. This is all the, uh, the 
The first six uh, Star Wars movies on Blu-ray, the whole complete saga come before the uh, next three came out. Um, and a bit of a bad buy. Because I can only get about $35 to $40 for this but it's looking only about $35. So thank God it was half price so I can double my money. Um, that's okay. Uh, if it doesn't sell, I'll give it to me old man, and uh, he can have some Star Wars movies, but um, I'm pretty sure that was still pretty fast. I'll just un undercut everyone else on, uh, on eBay. My final two items were my favourites, especially this one, because I found this in the kids section. This was $1.50, and this is an official McDonald's apron a McHappy Day apron. That's a, an official McHappy Day apron. Uh, I'm very McHappy now. Uh, this McDonald's merchandise, and this isn't available on eBay. Um, this is going to go for sixty dollars plus. I'm telling you now, this is going to go for sixty dollars plus. Uh, I'll put it at sixty, and I might even put it as an auction. Um, but um, can I take your order, please? So yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Good pickup for a dollar fifty. Look out for uh, fast food, fast food uh, uniforms. Last but not least is this Sony Cybershot uh, TX10. This was meant to be $60, but because I had the 50% off, I was like, you little beauty, chuck that in my uh, basket right there out of the little lock cabinet. They let me have it for 30, they let me have the half price. So I got the half price deal, but then after I looked at the comps, I am very, very happy because some are sold for a hundred used. Some are sold used for 170, 200, 210, 180. So I'm very, very happy on this purchase. I'm definitely putting uh, 200 in the kitty, I reckon. I reckon it'll sell between 150 and 200 because I'll probably take offers. So, uh, but I, I really think 200 for this. Um, but even 150, I'll be happy, very, very happy. So today, the two thrift stores, I spent $93 altogether, only 93 bucks, so only $93, and bring up the kitty while I take your order, please. Kitty. We spent $93 at two thrift stores. We had a 50% off at one of them. How much are we gonna get back, Kitty? Is it good? This is fucking a good one. I know it is a good one. $760 from Comps Sold Listings. Before fees, before taxes, before that other mumbo jumbo bullshit. We've got ourselves a good little thrift here today. Finally, we're back on the good thrift. Would you like pickles and onions with that, sir? Alright, kitty, fuck off. Fuck off. We're all about the ducks today, not the kitties. Oh, except for Garfield. Anyway, guys, you know the rules. Uh, if you got this far, that means you enjoyed the content. Give it a thumbs up. Give us a your little subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And click the bell icon, because every Tuesday is when I bring out my new videos. Or if you're in America, it's Monday night, but Tuesday mornings in Australia. Um, thanks heaps for watching, guys. Really appreciate everyone for tuning in all the time. Uh, the people that do tune in. See you.